This ninja report came out in March 2023 and... Wait, that's the wrong report. Let me check my filing. Oh, here it is. The latest news report from a company called Viceroy Research. Viceroy published an article on Arbor Realty with a whole new list of accusations against ABR. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. In this video, we're gonna see if this is just another hoax report in the hopes that the stock price falls down where short sellers can profit or it holds any accuracy. If you want to know about the false accusations report made by Ninji, I suggest you watch that video first and then come back to this one. I will put the link in the description down below. On to the report that was released not too long ago, which was published by Viceroy Research. First of all, when you go to the website of Viceroy, you get this pop-up that I recognized immediately. This is the same pop-up that appeared when you went to the website of Ninji. The thing is, it's extremely strange for a research company to have such a disclaimer pop-up every time you go to their website. This leads me to believe that they are somehow connected. The thing with Viceroy is, is that their site is set up a bit more professional, although still minimalistic. When you go to the About Us page, you can see the comparisons between Viceroy and Ninji. Also, the page is very short and compact. The only thing you can read here is that some friends from college came together to put together these reports. This little paragraph tells us a lot about the quality of the report before even diving into it. I quote, In 2016, Pairing was introduced to Bernard and Law through a mutual contact, who recommended he collaborated with the young Australians. Bernard took an interest in short selling while earning an accounting degree from the University of Melbourne and teamed up with Law, a friend who was studying engineering at the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology. The two quit their day job last year to focus on Viceroy full time. The people involved in this company appear to have little to no professional experience researching companies. When you go to the actual report talking about ABR, you notice that the formatting of the site is similar to Ninji's as you can see here. Although it looks like they have learned from their mistakes from previous reports, for instances the formatting of the bullet points, but the overall stays the same, like putting periods where periods shouldn't be and there's numerous grammatical and spelling errors in the actual report. Again, also mentioned in the Ninji video I made a couple months back, which I will link in the description down below, if you're putting together a well-researched and sophisticated report making several accusations about a company, especially a company of this size like ABR, the least you can do is run it through a proper spelling checker and have numerous people check it for grammatical and spelling errors. You would think that people smart enough coming up with these kind of reports would be smart enough to write a proper report and at least get it checked. Maybe they are just lazy and looking at the track record of publishing earlier reports, it would cause the same damage as they intend to have, which is sinking the stock price of APR with the intent of profiting from it. Since the release of the report, ABR has dropped 13% to $12. Despite this, investors in ABR quickly realized the nonsense of this report and the stock price quickly shot up back to the original price. If you're liking this type of content and would like to stay up to date to dividend investing stock analysis, news and more, consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe later and it is totally free. Let's dive into the actual report. Viceroy claims that ABR is a donut and should be evaluated at $0.00 and that they stand out as the worst of the worst. The first few pages of this report is dedicated about Arbor's CLOs and Viceroy claiming that they're worthless. Viceroy claims that its entire loan book is distressed and underlying collateral is vastly overstated. The thing is, ABR isn't like most other mortgage REITs who invest their money into already existing mortgage-related securities. ABR earns their money by lending money to companies who need bridge loans to build or repair multifamily complexes. What bothers me a lot is the links to external sources, or better put, the lack thereof. Viceroy makes a whole lot of claims in the report with a bunch of figures, like right here. 
but don't show anything about where these figures are coming from. Most links put in this report don't support anything. Another thing that bothers me is that a large portion of this report is supported by links to sites like Yelp and Google reviews. Here they criticize the underlying assets. In this part of the report they say, and I quote, Substantially all properties, even those with the best performing DSCR metrics, appear to be serially undermaintained. It is obvious that these properties have not been properly rehabilitated. Poor security, vandalism, theft and shootings are widely reported among properties. Owners appear to pay for and fabricate substantially all good reviews. Some good reviews appear to be from prospective tenants and form parts of the lease application process. Management appears to be raising rents of properties without any actual rehabilitation. This right here shows clearly that Viceroy has no idea what they're talking about. They don't understand the basic business ABR does. ABR lends money to existing apartments and multifamily properties. ABR has no ownership whatsoever of the property, unlike equity REITs. Seems like they're confused what kind of REIT ABR is. ABR only cares about the capability of the borrowers to pay back the loan including interest. Another thing, here they post reviews of people living in some of these properties ABR has lent money to. Any company that compile reports like this have to have some basic knowledge on how to build reports. Reviews from sites like Yelp and Google don't mean anything. These are what most link sources are on multiple pages. Looking at all the facts and research done in this video, I believe that people should pay no attention to this report. And they haven't. There was a small panic sell-off, but it quickly turned around only a few days after like you can see here. And with that said, that's gonna be a wrap up for this video. If you want to stay up to date to investing news, financial analysis of stocks, motivation and more, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. And remember, keep investing in your future.